are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 8th of October. I'm James Spann. The northern half of the state will stay warm and dry today, but of course the focus again is on Hurricane Delta in the Gulf. So a lot of things to talk about. Let's go. As we often do here, we'll start with the upper air look across the country early this morning. And again, we've got the main westerlies to the north and the tropical system in the Gulf that's headed up toward Louisiana. This is the radar early this morning at 428. Had a few showers over Mobile and Baldwin counties along Interstate 10 and the Florida Panhandle. But again, any showers will stay down across the far southern counties of the state today. Temperatures not bad, mostly 50s. Over North Alabama, Birmingham 59 will be in the mid-80s again today. There's the watch warning map. Tropical storm hurricane watches for parts of Louisiana and some of the adjacent states. A flash flood watch up into parts of western Mississippi. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. A marginal risk on the Louisiana and Mississippi coast in advance of Delta. This is tomorrow. Again, as Delta approaches, there could be a few isolated tornadoes in some of the spiral bands ahead of the system through parts of southeast Louisiana, south Mississippi, and really just uh, Washington and Mobile counties in Alabama. Then on Saturday, we have a marginal risk over much of central and north Alabama back into parts of Mississippi for the possibility of a few brief isolated tornadoes. And we'll talk more about this threat here in just a second. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Again, the Pacific Northwest is pretty wet, and this is the rain in association with Delta. The big numbers, Louisiana up into the Mississippi Delta region. For Alabama, the heavier totals around the northwestern corner of the state. Muscle Shoals, about two and a half inches. Around one inch for Birmingham, Gadsden, Tuscaloosa. Also for Mobile, about an inch and a half there. Then amounts one half inch for places like Montgomery, Auburn, and Dothan. So here's a look at Delta this morning. It's back over the open Gulf, well north of the Yucatan, with slow strengthening. At one point yesterday, the winds had decreased to 85. The winds are back up to 100 miles per hour. And this could become briefly a major hurricane tonight before landfall. Let's look at the new track from the Hurricane Center. It brings it into western Louisiana. The westward shift continues. Uh, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, tomorrow evening uh, is a Category 2. Got a hurricane warning from Sabine Pass over to Morgan City. The remnant circulation coming up into northern Mississippi Saturday evening. This is the rain directly associated with the hurricane. The really big numbers, some 6 to 10 inch amounts over Louisiana. And again, you can see up in that northwestern corner of Alabama, the heavier totals there. Uh, the good news, the storm surge watch has been canceled for the Alabama Gulf Coast because this is going in so far west. Uh, still potential for surge of uh, one to three feet for the Alabama Gulf Coast in Mobile Bay. Let's go to modeling. This is the GFS, the 06E run at 4 o'clock today. Again, you can see Delta on the way through the western Gulf. Chance of showers for the far southern part of the state today, mainly Mobile, Baldwin, Escambia, Washington counties for the rest of the state, partly sunny, warm with mid 80s. This is tomorrow at four o'clock. Delta coming into western Louisiana. We'll check the European. It's almost identical. Both global models in the exact same spot. Uh, that westward shift, of course, is not good for Lake Charles. They were hit earlier this season by Laura. But during the day Friday, we'll have a chance of showers. For Alabama, not going to rain all day, but showers are likely. Showers probably increasing Friday night. But many of the high school football games were moved to tonight to get away from that rain. And again, for the Alabama Gulf Coast, it'll be breezy, breezy obviously. But uh, again, uh, the big, big wind impact well to the west of Alabama. But keep in mind, there could be a few isolated brief water spouts or tornadoes uh, Friday night near the Alabama Gulf Coast. So this is Saturday at 4 o'clock. The remnant circulation uh, not too far from Greenville, Mississippi. And uh, Alabama obviously breezy and wet on Saturday. It's going to rain much of the day. In terms of the uh, tornado threat, this is the instability. And again, we're going to the 3-kilometer NAM, And this only runs out 60 hours. Uh, this is valid at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. 
And there certainly is some instability. The values are generally between 500 and 1,000 joules per kilogram. And this is the storm relative helicity. And again, this is 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. And you see those higher values on the western side of the state, but those will slowly move north and northeast through Saturday evening. And this is the STP, the significant tornado parameter. At that point, the higher values are over South Mississippi, but they'll kind of shift into Alabama later Saturday afternoon. So just be aware that there could be a few brief isolated tornadoes over about the northern half of the state, especially west of I-65, uh, Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Uh, not what I'd call a major threat, but the chances there. And these often are very short-lived. They are low-topped, and they can be under the radar, and they can get down without detection. So just be very, very weather-aware Saturday. But other than that, breezy, wet rain much of the day will be in the 70s. Sunday, the remnant low is over uh, north of Nashville, up toward Bowling Green. And uh, any lingering showers will probably wind down Sunday morning. Sky will stay mostly cloudy. And then Monday, everything's out of here. Monday should be warm and dry. We could see low to mid 80s, uh, partly sunny. And then Tuesday, a cold front comes through, probably in dry fashion. We've seen that trend. I should be in the upper 70s. And then Wednesday will be uh, cooler, highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. And this is a week from today, Thursday the 15th, a big vortex north of the state. And that's a cool, dry air mass. And another cold front coming in from the north. And that's some really cold air. Look at those thickness values over the northern states. Coldest of the season for them. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 17th. Again, that's a pretty cold look for the northern and eastern states. And for Alabama, we're cool and dry. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Numbers have come up a little bit. Uh, the mean between one and a half and two inches. The bulk of this, of course, will be Saturday. And the numbers, you can see they, they're coming down. And by the time we get to Sunday, the 18th, highs go in the 60s and lows in the 40s. And the CPC outlook for the 15th through the 21st of October, showing temperatures here, could be a bit below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.